Assalamu alaikum today we are going to do OS top 10 for API and I'm gonna select the broken object level authorization let's open this lab this is a free lab you don't have to pay anything for this so here we can see that there is a CBC care track website and his uh, uh, CTO Alice wants to get this website to get pen tested so he selected Bob for this after selecting him he has given him the username and password so that he can log in and see the internal features of this website and can better pen test this website so he has signed in so after he has signed in he started navigating the menus and he saw he has seen that there is a uh, prescription menu in the navigation bar on this prescription menu the list of prescription of Bob's account has been shown with these with the details of what he has been prescribed with and all the details are also present over here so after that he has seen that there are some filters in place and when he would click over all this is the HTTP request that is sent to this API endpoint okay so uh, let's analyze this request and see so upon clicking all filter button the application generates an HTTP GET request to this API endpoint in which this number is an actually a user ID so let's click next the request body further sends a filter parameter so he picked the filter the request pick the filter value all from here and send to the server and let's analyze what is the response that he has received so click on the response uh, upon clicking the response button against this user ID Bob notices that the server respond with array of order associated with the user ID and then the response also contain the personal information about the user okay so let's see what is the code behind this so let's analyze this code now developers have created a get orders method to retrieve users order okay and based on the user id through which the api endpoint was hit the which represent the id of current user and respond with the list of orders associated with this user here is the method get orders by user id and this is the user id uh, through which this rest api has been hit with and again this it adds user detail to the response and for the user details this is the method get user detail based on this user id and after that the response is converted into the json format and sent on the client side so let's click on the next so what bob thought is he can change this value to one and uh, let's forward this request and see if he gets the response back now let's analyze the response again you can see with changing this value the response is now of alice Bob has received the response of Alice prescriptions and accounts and his details from his own account. Okay, so what is the next? The information further contain Alice details including sensitive information such as her medical ins uh, prescription information and shipping address, which she was not supposed to get. Let's click on next over here and let's analyze this uh, vulnerable code. The get order method is used to retrieve the order of a specific user. So this was the method. And uh, what is the next thing? The method take an input parameter user ID, which represent the ID of current user and respond with the list of order associated with user. There is no authorization here that is it the Bob's user ID that through which this API endpoint was called. This was not authorized or checked over here. However, notice that there is no authorization checks present in get orders method. It blindly trusts the user ID request parameters without checking if the user actually has this ID. So this allowed Bob to get unauthorized access to Alice account, Alice details. So let's move next and see how we can mitigate it. Okay, so let's analyze this code. In this mitigated example, we retrieve the user ID value from secured HTTP session instead of relying on the insecure get parameter. So we know that when the domain, uh, when the API or the domain is called, we can send the cookie parameters, and from that cookie parameters, we can extract the session cookie. And it is a best practice to retrieve the user ID from that session parameter instead of just randomly getting the value from slash user ID so that first we use the get authentication method to retrieve the session value from the session cookie next we extract the user id from that session and if there is no user id present then this means that the user is not authenticated in this case so we respond with the http 403 forbidden status otherwise we pass the user id value to get orders by user id and then those orders are then returned to user via http response body so here we have mitigated the broken object level authorization issue and we are done with our lab. Jazakumullah khair.